spiritual warfare that's going to be going on all the time in you. And the devil has this strategy that I, I think I showed the leaders a little bit of it, not everything, but a little bit of the strategy that Satan works out to destroy you. He destroys you from within first. Rome didn't fall from without. Nobody were able to destroy him. They were destroyed from within. So Satan works that number over and over and over. From within, he destroys first. He going to destroy this ministry. He going to destroy it from within. He plant people in that are doubtful, that have inner wounds, problems that they refuse to get rid of. So when they come in, they come in with them, and they accuse people of certain things, but they've never really been delivered from the hurts, the abuse, the problems they had. So all you got to do is say, boo, and they're on the defense because they wounded already. They're like a wounded animal, and it don't take much now for you to rubbing that because they can't get delivered. Now, there's nothing actually wrong with the other person at that time unless they have some wounds themselves they're carrying. But you must examine your own self. So what the devil do, he'll use these things because we will put first self, self first. You hear what I said? I said it that way. Self first. That's the first mistake if you're going to grow in the spirit. You got to be number 25. If you make yourself first, you did. You done already because you violated the first commandment, deny yourself. <coughs> so you can't deny yourself. So that's your first mistake. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got but a few of y'all in here. Lights look real good this morning. Amen. Glory. Lights shining. They shine in this morning. So once you put yourself first, you're going to try to satisfy you. Now, if you don't understand, the scripture says, read it, son. Go ahead. 9, verse 23. Mm -hmm. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Keep going. Right down. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whoever will try to save his life going to lose your life. You're going to lose eternal life. But if you don't have no hope on what is eternal, what brings true satisfaction in life, then you will never understand this because you're going to get caught in trying to satisfy yourself. And then some people do it, they do it religiously. When they come to the Lord, they still stay there, but they do it religiously, and they get on the defense to protect themselves all the time. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. I'm this. I'm that. It's all about you. It's not about God and his kingdom and other people. It's about you. First strategy, Satan Eulet. He usually worked that one out, and he don't need to do nothing else anyway because he got you for life because you will never be able to be delivered from that problem right there, and he hold you right there. Come on, Elder, keep reading. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, mm -hmm. the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Well, what he does, he tried to keep you uh, trying to gain the whole world gain stuff for yourself, uh, recognition, yeah. reputation, Amen. who I am, yeah. who you think you are. Who, you, who the world you think you are? That somebody got to say a certain thing to you or treat you a certain way anyhow. Who you think you are? Yeah. I'm a human being, Pastor. So what? Jesus was one. Who you think you're following? See, when you get caught in self first, see, I'm talking self. I'm just staying on one point I brought in with the leaders, but I didn't go into depth because I just run it. You, you think 
you more than you think you are. That's why most people fight. They ain't fighting for somebody else. They're fighting for themselves. Try to fight for somebody else. Help somebody else's reputation, not yours. Ma, I got a rep here, baby. That's your first mistake. Some of y'all just come in. You must deny yourself. First thing to be a Christian. Put yourself first. Now you start this spiraling down syndrome, it's called. You start going down from that point when you first come to the Lord because you don't understand that you're supposed to deny yourself, humble yourself, put yourself on the line for the Lord. Now, I, you have to text me today. We got a few of y'all, and I can answer any questions today. Got it? Because if you think for one moment you're not going to walk in the Spirit, you're going to be a hypocrite all your life. You're never going to be able to walk in the Spirit because you don't understand the first thing to walk in the Spirit is denying yourself. You die. You got to die first or he's going to catch you when you first begin. They got a lot of people been saved 15, 20 years. They never denied this stuff. Anytime God come up and something about denying yourself, they start to act in a P.O.D. donkey. Because they ain't letting nobody. You're going to let them do all that and some before you die. Because you're supposed to be a Christian. Your life's supposed to be on the line. Now, I don't believe God is an abusive God, no. So you could, I can say you can talk to him because I feel you. I don't believe God uh, wants to abuse nobody. See, you just think you love more than God. See, you think your heart is bigger than God. Boy, that's your problem. See, so you think God walking around, he want to abuse somebody. God is not an abusive God. You just don't understand eternal things. And, you, and your head's so big, you think you're supposed to understand something. Who told you you're supposed to understand? Because I don't understand I, you keep crying. You, 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 not, you ain't going to understand God. God is eternal. Amen. Why, we be, why are we so proud and arrogant that we think we're supposed to understand everything? And if I don't understand that, well, I'm not going to move on that. You ain't going to move on much by faith then. I guarantee you, if you got to have everything Lay it out blow by blow, step by step. You're not going to follow God. I can guarantee you right now, you could put it in writing, uh, approved by Paul and them. I said, you know what I said? I said, you can, you can, you can sit there and you can, uh, you can approve it. You, you, you don't have to even worry about how you think it. I guarantee you, you ain't going to walk in the spirit. Because you're too selfish. You worry about yourself too much. So you'll never see the miracle working power in your life. Because you can't surrender. We say, Pastor, uh, why so hard? Because we flesh. Because we flesh. You don't get it. God is eternal. He's trying to get you not to trust yourself. But trust him. It's all he's trying to do. But you won't quit. You still trust you more than you trust God. Say, Pastor, that's right. The Bible says trust no man. That's right, y'all. And, and the first man or woman is you. 